Hey everyone, in this video we will discuss a number theory problem. The question says find all positive integral solutions to x square plus y square equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 0, 9, 1. So we have x square plus y square equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 4, 3, 2, 0, 9, 1. Now this is really a huge number, right? Now this question may seem intimidating at first because this is a huge number. Now, the first instinct for you would be, so can I factorize this or how can I write this as a sum of two squares, right? But if you are aware with some properties of number theory, some basic properties, then you don't need to worry about this number. Actually, we don't even need to consider this number. So let's say we have a property in number theory, right? We have a property in a number theory, very beautiful property. And the property says that if you square any number, then you get either 0 or 1 when you divide by 4. So when you take mod 4, the only two remainders are possible that is 0 and 1. You cannot get a remainder of 2 and 3. Now you can cross check this as well. So let's say take all the squares one by one quickly. So when you square 1, you will get 1. And when you divide by 4, you are going to get a remainder of 1, right? When you do 2 square 4, remainder would be 0. When you do 3 square 9, again remainder would be 1. When you do 4 square 16, again remainder would be 0. 5 square 25, divide by 4, again you are going to get a remainder of, remainder of 1. Do 6 square 36. Again, remainder 0, 7 square, 49, remainder of, when you divide by 4, remainder you will get 1, 8 square, 64, again you will get remainder 0, 9 square, 81, again remainder 1, 10 square, 100, again you are going to get a remainder of 0. So that, that's how it works. For any integer, you are always going to get 0 or 1 as a remainder when you divide by 4. There is no way that you are going to get a remainder of 2 and 3. And that is the property that we are going to use here. Now, if you closely observe here, we have x square, let's say we have x square plus pi square and equal to some big number, any number, this number, I'm not going to write this number again. Now, the, by property, we know that this would be congruent to 0 and 1 modulo 4, right? This would be also 0 and 1 modulo 4. Now when I add both, so what could be my possible remainders? So when you add 0 plus 0, then you can get 0. 0 plus 1, you can get 1. 1 plus 0, again you can get 1. 1 plus 1, 2. So the only possible remainders that you are going to get here is 0, 1 and 2. But if you notice on the, if you notice on this number, when you divide this number by 4, what is the remainder that you are going to get? Now, do you really need to divide this big number, this complete number by 4? No. If you know the divisibility property of divisibility rule of 4, then we focus only on last two digits. So, all these digits are irrelevant for me. My only focus is on 91. If I want to find the remainder of whole number of this big number by 4, then I can get by dividing these two digits only. So what would be my remainder here? We have 91 divided by 4. So this would going to give you a remainder of 3, right? 22 into 4 and plus 3. So you got a remainder of 3 here. But for LHS, you got a remainder of either 0, or 1 or 2. There is no way that you are going to get a remainder of 3 in the LHS. LHS remainder can't be equal to 3 but RHS remainder is 3 so therefore there is no solution there is no X or Y that you are going to satisfy this equation so this was a very good question on number theory if you don't know this property this would be very hard to solve and I would also say I will let you know one more rule here 
so we say that a square is congruent to 0 1 modulo 4 but this is not true only for 4 actually this is true for 2 and 3 as well so either you divide by 2 or you divide by 3 or you divide by 4 you are going to get a remainder of 0 and 1 only so you should must remember you must remember this result extremely important BV I so let's meet in some other video we will discuss some more such questions thank you